New York City's susceptibility to the consequences of climate change is widely recognized. It's a relatively compact island, teeming with hundreds of thousands of buildings and a bustling population. All feats of engineering. When heavy rains descend, subway stations and streets often become inundated, underscoring the inadequacy of the city's infrastructure to confront these challenges. Unfortunately, the situation is projected to deteriorate further, with the southern tip of Manhattan being especially vulnerable. City officials are now in a race to devise solutions for the future, and their most recent proposal involves a multi-million dollar endeavor encompassing the construction of a seawall flood barriers and the raising of an entire park in Lower Manhattan. However, to safeguard the neighborhood, some parts of it may need to be sacrificed. Battery Park City, situated on Manhattan's west side, serves as a prime example of the city's vulnerability. This 92-acre community was created in the 1960s through land reclamation, utilizing excavated materials and debris from the ongoing construction of the World Trade Center to extend the shoreline into the Hudson River. Today, Battery Park City stands as a successful urban renewal project, boasting ample green spaces, residential complexes, and dining establishments. Yet the area's future prospects are far from optimistic. In 2012, Hurricane Sandy struck New York, resulting in an unprecedented level of flooding across the entire city. Lower Manhattan, including parts of Battery Park City, was particularly hit hard, leaving homes and critical infrastructure in ruins and millions without power for days. The hurricane inflicted around $19 billion in damages on the city. Unfortunately, such incidents are not isolated, and the city anticipates more severe events in the future due to climate change. Projections from the National Ocean Service indicate the sea levels could increase by roughly one foot, or about a quarter of a meter by 2050. Consequently, during future storms, water levels in the Battery Park area could rise to approximately five to seven meters. The importance of infrastructure in climate change mitigation. While the effects of climate change might not be immediately evident in our day-to-day -day lives, it's imperative that we construct our infrastructure with the foresight to protect our cities. Engineers worldwide have put forth various solutions, including seawalls, trees, and even floating cities. Here in Battery Park City, a significant $221 million plan is in place to minimize the impact of future flooding. This initiative aims to safeguard critical areas at the tip of Manhattan, including Wagner Park, a 3.5-acre waterfront green space. The plan involves demolishing the park and raising it from its current elevation of just 3 meters above sea level to 6 meters. The Flood Wall, a key component. A central element of this project is the construction of a massive flood wall. Some parts of the wall will be concealed beneath the park, while others will be visible or topped with glass. Unlike a conventional seawall, which would create a divide in the area, the buried wall will enable visitors to access more green space. The exposed portion will incorporate flip-up gates that lie flat when not in use. Additionally, the flood barrier system will extend north towards Tribeca along the waterfront. The project also encompasses an improved drainage system featuring isolated valves and tide gates. At Pier A Plaza, the lowest point in the area, a bi-level landscape design with tiered seating will serve as a barrier against incoming waters. Wooden seating will allow it to remain submerged for more extended periods. Workers will also plant trees and construct saltwater-resistant concrete structures. All of these measures are intended to protect the neighborhood and its surroundings from the rising sea levels, storm surges, and flooding, particularly during infrequent 100-year storm events, which could save lives property, and city resources in the next calamity. Wagner Park Controversy However, not everyone is enthusiastic about these changes, especially concerning Wagner Park. Local advocates have been resisting these alterations for years because they will reduce green space by 10%, which is already scarce in New York City. In response to the opposition, authorities have made several revisions to the initial proposal. Nonetheless, many may find these adjustments insufficient and have suggested alternatives such as a larger flood wall and flood-proofing existing structures. Nevertheless, officials maintain that elevation is crucial for safeguarding the park against future storms that could pose a significant flood threat. In a city with a population of over 8 million, it's no surprise that many individuals want to have a say in shaping future developments, especially when the impact of climate change have already been strongly felt. The effort to preserve Battery Park is just one facet of a broader strategy to combat climate change throughout the city. 
Ultimately, these projects will be interconnected as part of the Lower Manhattan Coastal Resiliency Project along the East River waterfront. This initiative encompasses additional flood barriers and the reconstruction of East River Park. As sea levels continue to rise and the threat of flooding intensifies, it is paramount for authorities to ensure that plans like this are executed correctly the first time to prevent irreparable damage to the city. For further insights on this and related topics, you can explore our channel on the World's Best Construction Podcast, available wherever you listen to podcasts. And as always, if you found this video informative and wish to stay updated on the future of construction, make sure to subscribe to our channel. See you in the next one.